So the UKCAA review of UES regulation is here, the public consultation, it's here already. And this video is going to be explaining specifically how that will impact sub 250 gram drones, as I know there's a large part of our audience who are focused on those drones these days. Now I would recommend that you watch our top 10 things to know and possibly even the five things I hate about the consultation videos as well, because it will give you a more rounded perspective. But these are the items which specifically impact on the sub 250 gram drones that we love so much. As a sub 250 gram drone flyer, you will no longer be able to just have an operator ID. The proposal is that you will need a flyer ID as well. Remote ID, unlike in the US where you have the situation where sub 250 gram drones that are recreational and therefore not registered don't have to have remote ID, that's not the case here in the UK. Sub 250 gram drones with a camera, so your Mini 3s, etc., that type of thing from DJI, Otel, etc., you will have to have remote ID either via a module or built in, of course, to the drone. The legacy period is being extended again from 2026 to 2028 to allow us to keep flying our non class marked drones in the A1 airspace, which is now going to be called Over, um, whether that's Over People or etc., it's just called Over for now. But Unlike other drones, which all get basically relegated to the A3, the far from people airspace after the 2028 cutoff period, sub 250 gram drones that are transmitting remote ID will still be able to use that airspace. So technically you could fly the mini you own today beyond 2028, especially DJI ones, which of course have remote ID baked in already. A couple of other important points, which aren't just for the sub 250, but just in case you don't get around to watching the other videos that I've released on this, is that we are going to have geofencing and geo awareness built in somehow within to the drones, whether that's via the app with the manufacturer, which is the probable way. Um, but we'll have to wait and see how that actually works and how it how it is effectively enforced, of course. The consultation is open until the 10th of January. There is a link in the description for you to head over there and give your answers. If you're just interested in the sub 250 gram side of things, just answer the questions as you want to stick NA or I, I have no opinion or whatever it might be in the questions that you don't understand or just aren't interested in answering. It's important, even if you go in and answer the ones for the sub 250, that you do that. And in terms of when this is all supposed to be happening, it is from 2026 that these new proposals, once they've gone to government for approval and the government then work them through in terms of legislation and regulation and all those other lovely processes, then things should come in in 2026 with the legacy period running to 2028. But as I said before, you can actually keep flying those remote ID compliant sub 250 gram drones with a camera. So mini threes, mini fours, etc. long after that. Again, take a look at our other videos. I would highly recommend the top 10 one if you just got a few minutes and you want to get the real basic information about what this, this consultation actually means. Keep an eye out on the channel for more breakdowns or specific sections that might interest you. Sean out.